Hello, hello, beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? <laughs> well, last night, it was an amazing time for our um, gathering. We had a beautiful party for Bindu, our gorgeous goddess. She's um, an Ayurvedic practitioner at, I think, Three Realm Wellness or something. Anyway, I just want to pop in here because I, I haven't uh, been uh, posting. I got banned <laughs> for something silly. Anyway, um, it's a full moon energy in Aries. So you're probably experiencing a lot of tensions because Mars is very strong planet. And so for people who are Aries, they're probably more uh, intensified. And I had wild dreams last night and it's just so wild that I felt really sick the whole night. I was cleansing, I was having loose bowels. <laughs> Too much information, but I feel because we're doing the karma clearing, nine weeks karma clearing. I'm going to launch this book on November 11, this is my fifth book. This is the most intense book that I've written because I was mentioning my karma and how I have help and support from the Masters of Light. So yesterday, I just want to share Archangel Metatron. So for those of you who are not familiar with Akashic Records, Metatron is our scribe. He is the universal galactic being of light that is watching us and helping us in our ascension process. So there were two prophets that are that were humans and became ascended, like ascended into an archangel. So Prophet Enoch is Archangel Metatron and he is described, that means it's like uh, vibrations that we're creating in all our thoughts, our intentions, our words and actions. They were all collected in this vibrational energy because we're linear beings, we can understand better if it's um, downgraded. So it's like a book of life. So if you look at the Bible, it says the book of life. Like, you know, it's a book of life because it's a, it's a compilation of all your things that you've done. And it's not only your soul, but the whole collective. So the evolution of human consciousness, the histories, plants, animal kingdom, crystal kingdom, they were all in this vibrational field, which is the Akash. It's a Sanskrit word, 5,000 year old word, means ether, sky, or a primordial substance before anything becomes a form. So all the things that is manifested in our in our earth, just like the rosemary. Today, this morning, I've cut a lot of rosemaries and surround my home with rosemaries because I love the scent and the spirit of rosemary. It feels home, like to remember me memories, right? So our Akashic Records is like a, uh, a memory bank of all collected ideas, thoughts, lifetime in all timeline, dimensions, space, and reality. Oh, smells so good. <laughs> so Archangel Metatron is the first um, master of light that is helping our karm karma clearing in um, the group that I'm teaching. And so I will um, announce the book launch. Hmm. But you actually can get a, uh, a copy in uh, Amazon. 
but I just wanted to create a sound healing tribe that will uh, honor and venerate the masters that have co-created this book. So this January, I had this calling that I am teaching nine weeks karma clearing and I didn't even know what's going on. So I said, well, who are the nine masters? So the nine masters that are in the book are Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael, the Seraphim, the seraphim are the highest order of the angels, 144 activations that you're going to receive. Remembering the 144,000 ascended masters that are now here on Mother Earth. All the way from Sanat Kumara, who is the master of light from Venus, the planet Venus. When Mother Earth is calling for help because we are in the Kali Yuga, the darkness. So this is actually what's happening right now and we are being uh, activated so then we can remember our true essence. So that's 144 activations. The Elohim are the sevenfold flame. The sevenfold flame is quite an intense uh, activations. So the Elohim are the prime creators. They are galactic beings like the Arcturus, Orions. We have Hercules, Elohim of peace, Elohim of purity. We have the Orion, uh, Cyclopeia, Cassiopeia. They are the prime creators of all that is. So it's quite an intense um activation and attunement that you're going to receive so this is the attunement that i've received from these masters i get all this information from some references that they they literally um fell on my lap it's like for some reason i received this uh saint germain the violet flame books the discourses from the 1930s and then i started uh, reading it and I just received the attunements and then I asked my uh, designer from the Philippines my cousin Patricia to draw this uh, attunements and so I have it here so the seven fold flame of the seven Elohim this is actually you will uh, activate your uh, crown chakra with the seven flames in your head so then you are not being touched by the mundane or fear or any interferences that are going to be around us because of the manipulation and control of the other force right so we want to be ahead of the game like really protecting our auric field our mental field our body our um environment uh we're like tuning we're like tuning fork so we can be um we can be fully functioning in this in this uh lifetime so that is one of the attunements and i also have um with the with the hindu wisdom i have shiva and kali which is very powerful intense uh, masters we have of course lord jesus mary magdalene and mother mary the threefold flame and i also have saint germain and lady portia this is a very powerful activations to um i was i received this during the time when i was having clients that have uh, black voodoo or uh, curses in the family this is what i was uh, receiving this is actually the four directions the four archangels archangel raphael from the east archangel uh, gabriel from the west archangel uriel from the north and archangel michael from the south these four archangels are powerful creators for uh, our sacred space so sealing our sacred space wherever you are invoke this uh, archangel so then you can feel protected you know uh, safe hello gorgeous 
Harmit. Harmit is our amazing light language. Galactic goddess, really. I'm so blessed to have uh, these beautiful goddesses in my surrounding, in my tribe, in my life. Because I think we are all gathering right now because of the rise of the feminine goddesses, right? We are rising, we are elevating our feminine uh, uh, goddesses. That means also like um, we're, we're androgynous. <laughs> So androgynous means we are all connecting to the masculine and feminine divine energy. So it doesn't mean that if you're a man, you don't have feminine divine within. You have because that is the connection to the right brain. So the right brain brings us to the creativity, to the intuition and the feminine divine. And the left brain brings us to the masculine energy, which is also needed for creating, building, analyzing, and manifestation. So both are complementary. So we are actually balancing. So the nine weeks karma clearing is balancing your karmic debt. So for example, as we are living right now, we are unconscious of the past lives and the things that we've done to other souls, other timelines. So then we receive a catalyst, a trigger. Most of them are actually our family members. So in probably in your childhood, in your adulthood, you have even in the middle age, people are also having triggers with their family members. So that is the point where the masters of light are co-creating with you a space for compassion so then we can fully create a loving harmonious field within our psyche our subliminal our subconscious mind because when we get triggers from family members or others we can react the first thing that we do is reaction right as unconscious state even if you're a light worker you're also reacting to these things and we are so vulnerable right now and sensitive that's why we need to fully align our mind our heart having that openness and when we're open, we are able to feel the divine grace. We are able to receive because this is the surrender. We are surrendering things that is not in our control. We are learning to be free. And freedom means you are not attached. So detachment is also a huge part of our awakening detachment from the story from the drama from people's journey we cannot save the world we can only save ourselves by becoming more aware conscious and living a higher vibrational signature what does that mean you come into a room with joy with openness with love with acceptance embracing it's not very easy to <laughs> to implement but you need the help of the crystals so this is a uh, lemurian smoky quartz i have this last year when i went to tucson arizona i miss going to tucson arizona i went there with my niece marivel so this is a very new um com combination of lemurian Lemurian, you can see the, the grids. The grids are actually the keys and codes. Okay. So when you have this double, whammy, double, because smoky quartz is protection, grounding, and also um, remembering that you are a light within. So with the Lemurian heritage, the ancestral timeline that we lived, in Lemurian civilization, we are harmonious. We are unified. We live in, in a very pure, 
uncon uncontaminated, in contam contamination. There's no contamination. There's no toxic. And that is organic, right? And because of all the uh, technology and the environment, we bombarded our Mother Earth with chemicals, our body with chemicals, which is not good for us, right? So keeping our body organically, because we all have within every chemicals properties that is in resonance with the universal energy with the planets in the solar system the galaxies we are very powerful beings we just have to remember so the time now is to remember to receive activations remembering that we are light we are embodied in this Shakti, the Kundalini rising. And when we're aware of this Kundalini, we need to take it really slow. We need to rest our body because we need to be supported by the people around us so we don't burn our wires. Because when we're overloaded, we can go haywire. That's when you reach the mental institution and people around you don't understand what's going on with you. You are not going insane. You're actually releasing the imprints of manipulation and beliefs of all paradigm. So this is the paradigm shift and this is a, a very powerful Miriam Jasper, it's a calligraphy stone. If you can feel and see the, the lines, it feels like a hieroglyphics, you know, in ancient Egypt. All these lines have a code to remember. To remember and to attune you to your highest self, to your higher self to the higher vibrations, higher consciousness. So crystals have been used in eons of lifetime. We've used them in Atlantis, in Lemuria. So this is the time to be surrounded by these beautiful, majestic beings. They have a Deva spirit. They're alive. They're conscious. They're bringing us into a higher field of harmonious unity. So the unified field is actually about the oneness and embracing um, the shadows and the light. So the shadows and the light is a part of our uh, domination, right? In this third dimension, there is shadow because it is a polarity when you're in the body. So I'm going to introduce you to the crystal skull. So they all want to be introduced today. I didn't really, I don't have any agenda when I go live. I just go with the flow. And so the crystal skulls are infused with ancient wisdom. Hi, Lorna. <laughs> Talking about crystals, the beautiful crystal lady, Lorna. <laughs> so crystal skulls, we have them in ancient Atlantis. We go into a communal with like, for example, if we're healers right now, we're, we belong to the communal of healers. So we go into this community and we gather and infuse the, the light wisdom to the crystal skull. So the crystal skull is like a program computer base. So every thousands of years, the shamans, the sage, the prophets, the seers, they infuse the knowledge in the wisdom keeper. So they are wisdom keeper. And so they were buried in Mother Earth. And I think in 1927, one of the crystal skull was found. Y you can uh, Google that. And I think it's Michelle Hodges. I don't remember all these names, but <laughs> the crystal skull is a wonderful tool to remember our ancient wisdom so we're all in this together and all the deities and goddesses i literally have sarasvati came home to me i created um 
a community event, which is the 1010 Gateway. So on October 10, I created an event. And uh, this beautiful goddess, Sarasvati, is the ancient goddess of wisdom and knowledge. Beautiful um, goddess. So every time I receive something, uh, a deity, I study them and I literally channel through them. So what a beautiful uh, time for channeling the goddesses and remembering your 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 goddess within, right? So there's a lot of healing of the goddesses that I've been blogging. And so, yeah, my, my friend Finn is waiting for me for lunch. We're going to the Hare Krishna temple. <laughs> so I'm just uh, reminding you for my November 11 book launch. 1111 is a powerful number, a portal for all of us awakening. So I'm going to talk more on karma clearing. So today is Archangel Metatron and we can create an etheric retreat before we go to sleep. You can say, Archangel Metatron, please place upon me your uh, cloak. So you can visualize this beautiful cloak of Archangel Metatron. You can have any colors that you want. I love the color of white. So we can ask Archangel Metatron to place our beautiful cloak upon us for protection. And please take me to your etheric retreat in Luxor, Egypt during my sleep for my highest good, highest potential and healing. And then you can ask more like happiness, wisdom, abundance, whatever you want to ask from Archangel Metatron. So that's how we can connect to Archangel Metatron's retreat every night for one week. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to lead you to the nine weeks karma clearing. And for those beautiful souls that have signed up, we have like uh, 12, 13 of us are gathered every week to heal the collective, our personal records and the collective karma. Thank you so much for listening and have a beautiful day. Namaste.